Baguio City Beautiful Views Baguio has traditionally been one of the Philippines' most popular tourist attractions. This mountain city has attracted travelers due to its frigid temperatures, pine-dominated landscapes, and general romantic mood, especially during the summer and holidays. Despite being a heavily urbanized city, Baguio preserves its rustic charm in areas. Baguio has something for every sort of traveler and age group, from natural sites to modern ones. Furthermore, the cuisine culture and shopping districts have become tourist attractions. Here are some of the greatest activities to do and places to visit in and around Baguio City, whether you're a regular or a first-time visitor. We've included attractions from adjacent municipalities like La Trinidad and Tuba in our list. Tourist Attractions in Camp John Hay The Yellow Trail, also known as the Forest Bathing Trail, runs for 1.5 kilometers through the pine-covered Camp John Hay. It connects the two jumping-off places, Limonet and Treetop Adventure. The journey continues from the Treetop Adventure to Scout Hill, the final destination. Are you an adrenaline junkie? Then Treetop Adventure at Camp John Hay is the place for you. This adventure park has fascinating attractions to get your heart racing. The Superman Ride, Zipline, Canopy Ride, and Tree Drop, Harness Free Fall, are the most popular attractions. The Bell House, named for General J. Franklin Bell, is also located within the Camp John Hay boundary and not far from Treetop Adventure. This former official holiday residence of the Commanding General of the Philippines has been converted into a museum. The well-preserved building reflects the American colonial architectural style. It features an amphitheater that also functions as a garden. Baguio Sky Ranch Sky Ranch is not unique to Baguio. Similar theme parks may also be found in Tagaytay and Pampanga, with similar rides and attractions. If you haven't visited one yet, you might want to include Sky Ranch Baguio in your schedule. The Diplomat Hotel, the 17-hectare complex, officially known as the Dominican Hill Retreat House but more commonly known as the Diplomat Hotel, is stretched on the Dominican Hill. It was erected in the early half of the 20th century as a retreat home for Dominican priests and nuns until World War II, when the Japanese took possession and turned it into a military garrison and war jail. Between the 1970s and 1980s, the Diplomat Hotel reopened after extensive renovations and remodeling. Given its history, particularly the atrocities of World War II, it has earned a reputation for paranormal activity, frequently ranking among the Philippines' most haunted locations. Village of Tam Awan Tam Awan Village, also known as Garden in the Sky, is a short distance from Igorot Stone Kingdom. The Chanam Foundation commissioned it in 1998 to build a model town showing recreated traditional Cordillera dwellings and making them more accessible to the general public. The village promotes the region's indigenous craftsmanship and beauty, as well as local artists. The settlement presently comprises nine traditional dwellings, seven Afugao huts and two Kalinga houses, after three huts were transferred from Afugao. The original materials were used to recreate these structures. The Mirador Heritage and Eco-Spirituality Park is a rapidly growing tourist attraction with a mix of native and Japanese-inspired attractions. Hiking routes crisscross this 5-hectare area, leading to the Rock Gardens, the Pandemic Healing Memorial, the Lestorta Garden, Afugao Houses, and the Circular Seismic Chamber closed when we visited. The iconic Mirador Peace Memorial, 
A red painted torii gate atop the hill with views of the city and surrounding hills, is perhaps the most popular. The Arashiyama Bamboo Grove, possibly named after the bamboo forest of Kyoto's temple district, is another popular attraction. While the bamboo trunks are not as large or tall as those found in Japan, they nevertheless provide a relaxing and photo opportunity. The Wright Park, named after former Governor General Luke Edward Wright, is another large green space. This is a popular hangout spot for both locals and visitors. It's a lush park that offers walking and jogging trails, biking paths, and rest spots. It has a long pond or pool that nearly completely fills the concrete path that connects the Wright Park kiosk and the mansion facade. Wright Park also includes a pine-covered forest hill near to the horse stable if you wish to go horseback riding in Baguio. The mansion house, often known as the mansion, is reached through a lengthy concrete path with a pool in Wright Park. It was built in 1908 to house the U.S. Governor General's official home in the Philippines. It underwent reconstruction in 1947 after sustaining huge damage during the Second World War. Presently, it functions as the official summer palace of the President of the Philippines. It is also the site for other important state functions and international gatherings. Mind View Park is one of the most famous tourist destinations, usually congested with throngs of visitors. My local friends say it's more of a tourist trap, but because we're tourists, we should still go check it out and see why it's so popular. It has an observation platform with a panoramic view of Edogan Town's former gold and copper mines below and the mountains beyond. This is also one of the best places to observe the sunrise. The Good Shepherd a place where you may get the famed Oud Jam is not far from Mines View Park. Tourists eagerly queue for the famous Oud Jam and other favorite items. Other products include Strawberry Jam, Blueberry Jam, Peanut Cluster, Cashew Brittle, Lengua, Snowballs, Angel Cookies, Choco Flakes, Alphahor Cookies, Banana Chips, Sample Off Candy, and more. There's a tight ordering system in place. Write down your orders first, then queue before handing over your order and payment to the attendant. The Baguio Botanical Garden, renamed Centennial Park, is located along Leonard Wood Road between Wright Park and Teacher's Camp, and is one of the city's many green spots. This is another renowned tourist destination in the city, where visitors may rest in the lush surroundings. Baguio's Central Business District is just a short drive away from the expansive Botanical Park. It features numerous walking pathways with numerous photo opportunities. The Baguio Arts Guild and the Igorot Village are also located. Burnham Park is the city's most recognized attraction, located in the middle of Baguio. Burnham Lake, or Lagoon, dominates the landscape, which is peppered with notable attractions such as the Rose Garden, a leisure park with a skating rink, the Orchidarium, the Children's Park, and the Melvin Jones Grandstand. Paddle boats, swan boats, biking, and go-karting are among the many exciting activities available at the park. If you feel hungry while enjoying the park's activities or simply want to go food tripping in the vicinity, there are plenty of food stalls and street food vendors to satisfy you and your stomach. The Baguio Museum is a short walk from Burnham Park. It is easy to locate because it is bordered by notable monuments such as the University of Baguio, the University of the Cordilleras, Baguio City National High School, and SM Baguio. The museum's collections depict the city's history as well as the Cordillera region's culture. All of the collections are organized into three categories, Baguio Gallery, Cordillera Gallery, and Alternative Gallery. 
There is also a training floor and a multi-purpose auditorium on the fourth floor. The museum's repair and remodeling began in 2017 and is expected to be completed by 2020. Baguio Cathedral, also known as Our Lady of the Atonement Cathedral, is a hilltop cathedral with views over Session Road and the bustling downtown streets. It was dedicated to the Virgin Mary and launched in 1936. It has twin belfries, spires, a rose window facade, and stained glass windows in a neo-Romanesque architectural style. It is one of Baguio's most well-known monuments, located next to St. Louis University. Visitors must ascend numerous steps from Session Road to reach the courtyard and church. You can also visit the Porta Vega shopping mall and take the escalator to the cathedral's courtyard. Session Road is Baguio's most famous street and one of the city's major thoroughfares. During the day, it is bustling with locals and tourists going about their business, but at night, pubs and hangout spots vibrate with wonderful music and great conversations. If you want to eat first before getting lost in music and booze with friends and possibly new acquaintances, Session Road has a variety of international and fast food restaurants. However, if you want to sample the local cuisine, it also has Sizzling Plate, Ocha Asian Restaurant, Bizco's Restaurant, Volante, Oh My Gulai, and Drop Out, among others. Night Market in Baguio Although the concept of night markets is not as great in the Philippines, it is progressively woven into the fabric of market consciousness. Baguio is establishing a strong night market culture, which is attracting tourists to the central business district's Harrison Road. This is ideal for individuals looking for a good deal or to fill their stomachs without having to dig deeper into their pockets. Make your way to the Baguio Public Market for Pasalubong, which has a plethora of stalls selling regional specialties like fresh strawberries and sagata oranges, strawberry and oud jams, peanut brittle, fresh veggies, and souvenir. Stone Kingdom of Igorot The park exhibits both modern and traditional Igorot culture, as well as the Cordillera region's ideals. The entire area is around 6,000 square meters in size and is dominated by two large constructions that face each other, a modern castle and an old-school stone wall. The walkways throughout the modern-day castle are accented by statuary, photo places, and viewing decks. It's topped off by a food court that specializes on Pinoy foods. The stone wall, on the other hand, recalls the rice terraces that showcase the Igorot people's rock-laying abilities. The Fertility Stone Tower, the Temple of Cabunyan, Bangan's Dome, the Tower of Gatan, the Face in the Rock, and many other structures may be seen as you climb. Nearby Baguio City Tuba's Bencab Museum is located there. Benedicto Reyes Cabrera, Bencab, a Philippine national artist for visual arts, established and manages the private museum. Bencab's masterpieces, as well as works by other renowned painters and young contemporary artists, are on display at the museum, which opened to the public in February 2009. It aims to highlight environmental conservation and cultural preservation of the Cordillera's legacy, in addition to encouraging the arts. There is a cafe, an organic farm, and a miniature forest at the museum. Strawberry Farm La Trinidad, the most popular strawberry farm in the area is located about 30 minutes north of Baguio. It's generally connected with Baguio City, but it's actually part of La Trinidad. Strawberries cost between P250 and P300 per kilo here. You must pay an additional P200 if you wish to harvest your own strawberries, which is the major attraction of this location. From November to May, you can pick strawberries. A Pasalubong area with various souvenir shops is also located on the farm. Strawberry Tahoe and Strawberry Ice Cream are must-tries. 
The farm also sells fresh fruit and plants in addition to strawberry goods. The Colors of Stobosa is another popular tourist attraction in La Trinidad. Officially named Stobosa Hillside Homes Artwork, it was the brainchild of the dot car in collaboration with the Tam Awan Village Group which came up with several design proposals and over 500 residents volunteers. The mural covers the hillside houses of three sitios in Barangay Baliu, Stonehill, Vodavsu, and Sadjap, thus the name, Stobosa. In 2016, the public was introduced to the Stobosa colors. Also located in Barangay Balili near Stobosa and the border of Baguio and La Trinidad, the Bell Church is a temple founded by Chinese immigrants from Canton, Guangzhou, in 1960. The serene atmosphere and the view while strolling around the courtyard attract a lot of tourists to the temple, making it a major tourist destination. A tiny lily pond is also in If you like this video, let me know. Just leave a comment down below. For more travel videos videos, subscribe to this channel, and let's do this together.